There are fewer homeless people along the River De Pair after a visit from law enforcement. Fox 2's Zara Barker has a Fox 2 follow up from South St. Louis. It's a different sight here along River De Pair than what we saw just a few weeks ago. Most of the homeless tents now gone. Tonight we found out why. It's been a constant battle between neighbors, political leaders, and the unhoused about setting up tents along the River De Pair. As the bill goes through the city that would make this illegal, Fox 2 received photos and videos of action on the riverfront this week. Well, the reason we're involved in it is just because they're on our property. And again, it's a liability issue, it's a safety issue. Missouri Sewer District noticed tents on their property along River De Pair and contacted the St. Louis Metro Police Department, who had everyone move. If they're on our property, we do notify the police department, have the police department come in, and uh, there are enforcement for this, and they come in and they actually will um, talk to them. We don't want anybody arrested. We just want to make sure that they're on um, you know, public right away where they can get some sort of assistance from the city of St. Louis. The St. Patrick's Center went through and made sure there weren't any valuables left behind before heavy machinery was sent in to clear the area. On the other side of the river, which MSD does not own, park rangers were seen handing out orange police orders telling people to move. I've got nothing and nowhere to go. And I just wish that they would do something. One of the unhoused says he was forced to move and says the city just needs more shelters open during the day. Well, there's a lot of buildings downtown that are empty. Why? Why are they empty? Why don't they use something and open something up for the people? Mark Bonney with the nonprofit Hands and Feet of Jesus says he gives out food to the unhoused and also saw authorities on scene, but says he feels for those in this situation. It's very difficult because I know that each time the homeless get this place, they have to reestablish their groups where they watch out for each other. The St. Louis Metro Police Department did not respond with a request for comment. Now, the mayor's spokesperson says the city did not have any involvement on this on either side of the river. From South St. Louis, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News.